gonna show you the queen bee. I just found her here, but she keeps going to the other side of the frame because she doesn't really like to be in light. There she is. There's the queen. Really healthy, nice looking. I want to be very careful with this frame. You know, if you kill her, it, it slows down the hive quite a bit or it can kill the hive. So There she is. This is an empty frame. There's not much eggs on it, so that's why she's on here. Really healthy colony. There she is. Just walking along. She's looking for a cell to lay an egg in. That's what she's doing. She's looking in the cells and she'll lay an egg. And then I think in about three days it hatches. There she is though. Well, I've been looking for her a little bit here. off all the supers in one of the brood boxes. I'm just doing a colony inspection. They're really healthy. I don't need to do any more. A colony inspection? Making sure that there's a queen, or at least eggs, which shows that there would be a queen. Lots of bees. Uh, no diseases. I'll have to do mite testing soon, but I'll leave that for another little bit. Queen Bee and Colony Inspection Day. So this colony is pretty healthy. Lots of bees. Every box is just packed. This is a brood chamber. Brood chamber? Yes, the second box. It's what uh, the queen is like lay her eggs in, and then the other boxes are supers for honey. There might be a little bit of brood in these because I don't use a queen excluder. Not really any, so that's good. Okay, so these are my five frame nukes. I just did these, they're all walk away splits, which means that I let the uh, bees make their own queen. Um, so these two I did before this one. I'll check on these guys in a few weeks. There are queen cells in all of them, but I don't want to stress them out too much. I'll just leave them alone, they're healthy, I'll give them their sugar syrup. And, and why do you have to give them sugar syrup? It just helps them out. They're not very strong yet. And they're not for honey production either. They're just nukes to get more colonies. It's just one-to-one -one sugar and water. They take these down in about four days. So the bees' eggs have to be kept at around 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And since it's a windy day today, they're kind of losing a lot of heat, but it still is warm out, so I'll get the hive back together. Okay, so here's some cap brood. Cap brood? Which is just bees that are going to hatch out soon. Every one of these little, little spots is going to hatch out. And then this over here, this is all pollen. And then some capped honey. So this, is, this is good. This is how it's supposed to look. Nice solid brood. And then some food stores. On the corners, there's some more capped honey and pollen. Pollen and capped honey. Here's a young bee. This one right there. Oh, it went away. They don't really have their full color yet. They're called nurse bees. When they're first born, they they take care of the of the younger unborn bees. <laughs> nurse bees. There's one. They're not really. They kind of look almost like faded. And then when they get older, they get their full color. kind of harder to see on camera. It's easier if you're just in person, but that's pollen in there. And capped honey. And partially capped honey. If you need to move your bees and see something, you can just 
just go like this. They don't like the heat of your hand. As long as you don't squish them, they won't stain you. And that's oh, enough shit. for this frame. I'll California poppy. Looks like she needs some harvesting. Some other poppies growing up back there. The sunflower. Some opium poppies in here. Over there. Hey Winston. Yeah. And Berkeley and Lucy. You know my babies? <laughs> There's my mama's Lucy just kind of creeping through the nice tall grass. Okay. Down to the bee business now. Okay, so I don't really want me here right now anymore. So they're making a fair bit of noise. I haven't taken any stings though, so that's nice. It's kind of a cooler, windy day, so they're more docile when it's like that. Hmm. Mostly because they, they're not really flying around as much. Right. Um, trying to protect their, their honey and their queen. <laughs> keep everything warm. Okay. I'm gonna guess one of those boxes is about 60 or 80 pounds. Like, they're heavy. Looks like Uncle Scott's here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's seen us over here. <laughs> really, you should see how heavy one of them is. Lucy and firstborn, hey babies. Okay, so something that I forgot is um, when you add on a new box, you take off the old box and put the, the new box underneath, and then they work on that box, like drawing it out or filling it up, and then they move on to the other box. Like these two are pretty much fully capped, or no, this one's almost fully capped. Sorry, I forgot there's another one here. This one's fully capped, just about. This one's about half full, and this one they still need to kind of draw it out. Oh, yeah. So then they'll work on this one and then they'll finish these off. Okay. It works out nicely. You don't have to do that. Not everybody does. <laughs> Some Jones pop. <laughs> Just. And this beast is heavy. <laughs> this box, yeah. Not stinging them. Oh, I picked up a handful of them before. And they only sting you if you squish them. <laughs> By accident, yeah. No, oh, that's one. cool. I know other ones. Big, box. heavy box. On this one, it's not 60 or 80 pounds. Wax dip. Wax dip? You box? take beeswax and dip the box in it. It works the same as paint, it's just it's more natural.
Yeah. Got a few bees in that one. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose if you were maybe they just fell out of it. No, they just kind of fell out. Right there's a drone. That's a male bee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave these guys alone for about a week or two now. Let them fill out those supers and then probably do a honey harvest in the next few weeks here. Woohoo! So here's the burr comb for today. Good little handful. So, July's hive inspection. Pretty proud of that young man of mine. Take care all. Love ya.